Christians, we learn to always remember, re rely on Jesus.
Somebody shout praise the Lord. Somebody shout praise the Lord.
for you today. We know that God has prepared a special place for us in heaven, but how many don't know that God has prepared a place for you here on earth? Amen? Amen. That is the good news. That is the good news. We just thank you, God, for this day. And thank you, oh God, for preparing a place for us today to be able to worship and to praise your holy name. Amen. 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 If you please stand on your feet today as we begin our service with our praise festival. And that is found in our bulletin and also on the monitors. Amen. Amen. And it reads, why have we come? And what has the Lord done? He has done great things for his people. And how shall we give him praise? Like the angels in heaven. We shall sing praise. Hallelujah. 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 Let us praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let us praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let us praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's just take a few minutes with your
Hallelujah, hallelujah. We will now have our prayer by Sister Lisa, followed by our scripture. Friends, Amen. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff. They comfort me, thou prepares the table before my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil.
scripture reading is coming from 1 John, the second chapter, and it starts with verse 1. My dear children, I am writing this to you so that you will not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate who pleads our case before the Father. He is Jesus Christ, the one who is truly righteous. He himself is the sacrifice that atones for our sins. And not only our sins, but the sins of the world. And we can be sure that we know him if we obey his commandments. If someone claims, I know God, but doesn't obey God's commandments, that person is a liar and is not living in the truth. But those who obey God's word truly show how completely they love him. That is how we know we're living in him. Those who say they live in God should live their lives as Jesus did. May the Lord have a blessing to the hearing and reading of his holy word. Amen.
love of the Lord. Somebody put your hand back and tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for doing what others could do. Thank you for doing what others would do. Thank you for loving me in spite of me. Thank you for another chance. Thank you for chance after chance. Thank you for loving me when I was unlovable. Thank you for not putting up on me when I was in my neck. Thank you for looking at my faults and supplying my name. Thank you for touching my body. Thank you for taking care of my children. Thank you for life. Thank you for helping me. Come on, tell them all right here. Bless his name. Bless his name. Here's a word. 
here who professes a hope in the Lord, you need to be familiar with Luke 22, verses 31 through 34. Luke 22, verses 31 through 34. It was after the Lord had a team of disciples. It was after he had told them he would be leaving them. It was when he was preparing them for life. This is what this is. This is just a rehearsal. The Lord is preparing us for life. He said, and the Lord says, Simon, Simon. So behold, Satan has desired to have you. And I'm trying to tell somebody that Satan wants all of us. He wants all of us. What does he want to do with you? The Bible says, Carson, that he wants to sift us. Shake you up. Sift us as we. But what I like, Dr. Wright, verse 32, that's a, a, a three-letter conjunction. But. Wow. I thank God for the other side of the book. He said, Satan wants to mess you up. He said, Satan wants to destroy you, but that small conjunction nullifies, cancels out, overrules everything that was said on the left side. Thank God he put us on the right side of the book. He said, Satan wants to take you out, but I have prayed for you. Watch this. The Lord said, but I have. Somebody don't understand the power of prayer. Satan wants to take you out, but he said, but I have prayed for you that your faith fell not. Then the Lord said, right now, he said, but when you're converted, when you're healed, when you're strengthened, you go, you go back and strengthen the brother. God does not deliver you for you to keep it to yourself. God does not elevate you to keep it to yourself. God does not bless you for you to keep it to yourself. If I can call my beloved late grandmother to the witness stand, she used to say, I said I wasn't going to tell nobody.
teamwork will make the dream work. Amen. So we're going to be calling on everyone, amen, that will participate, to participate on some level. There's enough to go around for everybody to do something. So we'll be, uh, we'll be meeting and meeting and meeting and meeting and doing what we have to do to make sure, first of all, that the day, the day is pleasing unto the Lord. Amen. And then that it's successful. And then that even perhaps somebody would find the Lord, a relationship with him through what we're doing on that weekend of the second Sunday in June. Praise the Lord. On um, this Tuesday night, 7 o'clock, Tuesday night, 7 o'clock, if your schedule permits, we need to see you, amen, in Faith Hall, Tuesday night at 7 p.m., amen, Tuesday at 7 p.m. Are there any first-time worshipers here today? Any first-time worshipers, would you stand and greet us, amen, give us your name, amen, praise the Lord, amen, the legal practice of amen.
know that you are more than welcome. Thank you for being a part of this ministry. Amen. Amen. I see another brother in the back pew. Amen. Who came to us. Preacher, wave your hand back there. Amen. Through the God will provide food and ministry. Amen. I just thank God for your love and your spirit. Amen. Amen. I thank God for your desire to give back. Amen. To those who feed and those who minister. You don't have to do it, but you did. Amen. I just want to tell you thank you for sowing into our lives and into our ministry in a very tangible way. Amen. 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 And your staff thanks you. Amen. Amen. God, place on his heart just to bless his preachers. Amen. Amen. There's some who don't even, amen, say good morning to us in the fact that you want to come so bad. We want to tell you thank you. Amen. 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 Maybe each one of their lives on a consistent basis. Now, I'm not talking about a Washington. No, no. I'm not talking about a Ben Franklin. No, I am. Well, yeah, yes, I am. Yeah. But <laughs> well, those in between, amen, they, you know, Washington get passed around so much, but, yeah, but. Thank you just for loving on us and for being so kind. God said you'll get a prophet's reward. Amen. On a more somber note, on a more somber note, uh, one of the young ladies who was a benefactor of our feeding ministry, who we look forward to, especially in the circle of love, who we had prayed for, who got upset with Frank Sutton one Sunday because Frank Sutton prayed for her. She said because if she had gloves on and not that price, she couldn't touch them anymore. And when she left and moved away from here, she was over 100 days clean because of the praying ministry here. Amen. She went back home to East Tennessee and experienced some traumatic things there and uh, subsequently OD'd and passed away this weekend. We called her Butterfly because she was such a part of this ministry. So pray much for Sister Frank Seven and Tremaine and those who ministered to her out there and we got attached to her. Amen. Amen. Praise his name. Amen. Bless his name. Thank you, Vernon, for your prayers again. Thank you for your faith. And I just believe God's word. It says, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, nor has it entered into the hearts of men the good thing that God has in store for those who love him. And so the question is, do you love him? We already know he loves us. Because he said, while we were yet sinners, he commended his love toward us and that Jesus died on our behalf. Amen. Come on, ushers. We've been ready to worship God through paying um, God's tithes and the giving of our offering. And we say, uh, Sister Sandra, to your daughter in love, amen. Good to see you back, amen. Amen. To our sister, Nick, and Sister Carolyn, good to see you again. Praise his name, amen. As we prepare now to worship God, to the giving of God's, uh, giving of offering, the paying of God's tithes, we ask that we would all stand, 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 and amen. Stand, stand. The ushers will direct you from the rear. Amen. Time to go do it again.
moment, at this very hour, this very second, oh my God, we thank you for the blessings that are coming down. We thank you for the blessings that we're able to give back to you. Only a very little portion of all the blessings that you have given us. Oh God, I pray that it is acceptable in your sight. And Lord God, that you will go and that it will grow and grow in our ministry, bear fruit that we can bear in our community. Oh God, in Jesus' name, that your will be done. That your will be done. Amen. Amen.
and accept this beautiful bouquet and boutonniere as a representative of all my love. Would you do that? Would you do that? 
I repeat after me, Pastor Carson. Come on, everybody, Pastor Carson. Preach the word, and we will hear and obey. Come on, give God some praise. Amen.
give God some praise. Amen. He's worthy. Go ahead, have a witness in the house. Tulsa, I've been worked more here than I've been worked at home. <laughs> but it's a blessing to know the people that I have met at the Double Tree, they're coming more than just a cookie. They're coming. Y'all can go ahead and laugh now. Y'all know some of y'all gonna stop by and I say that. Every time I look around, can I get a cookie? You're not even a guest of a hotel. I'm going to tell Baze on y'all next time. But it's a blessing to know that God got some witnesses even in Tulsa, Oklahoma. To that young lady, I, I, I got to say this. I have a 22-year-old daughter that 
that's attending the USC School of Medicine. And I have almost given her everything I had. But when I get back home, I'm going to at least ask her to take me out to dinner. <laughs> Amen, somebody. Amen. What you have done for your parents Hebron. Uh -huh. 
And it came to pass afterward that he loved the woman in the valley of Sore, whose name was Deliah. And the lords of the Philistines came up unto her and said unto her, Entice him, and see wherein his great strength lieth, and by what means we may prevail against him, that we may bind him to afflict him, and we will give thee every one of us 1,100 pieces of silver. And the lion said to Samson, Tell me, I pray thee, wherein they, thy great strength lieth, and wherein thou mightest be bound to afflict thee. And Samson said unto her, If they bind me with seven green widths that were never dried, then shall I be weak and be as another man. Go down to verse 10. And Deliah said unto Samson, Be though thou hast mocked me, and told me lies, now tell me, I pray thee, wherewith thou mightest be bound. I want to talk from the subject, be careful who you tell your secrets to. I'm going back to Los Angeles. Be careful who you tell your secrets to. Don't care how much love you have. You ought to be careful who you tell your secrets to. I want to sing one of our songs that I love so much. We are often tossed and driven on the restless sea.
tell your secrets to children. There are three places that I find to be very interesting sometimes. One particular Saturday,
praise God, that young man yeah. has now earned his master's degree from UCLA. But the text, did y'all read this about Samson and Delilah? There were two, there was something that took me for a loop. Y'all remember Judas, who betrayed it, Christ? Wasn't there some money involved? And here we go again. With the liar, money being involved. Take other. 
us out. And so Samson was going on and on and on and on and on and on. And she finally said to him one day, you are mocking me. Making me out of a fool. Making me out of a liar because I've gone and I've told them what you've told me. And they've done those things that you have told me and then those things are not working. So now, this is what I'm, because I'm a, a fan of the other wrestlers, this is what I believe Victor Newman yeah. was trying to get over. The more I lied to you, then I really would not, I would then I would have the knowledge of knowing that you really know. Uh -huh. To some of y'all young and the wrestlers that bold and the beautiful fans that you can't believe everything you hear. So after a while, Moa or Samson laid his head in the liar's lap. Yeah. And somehow or another, he told her All right. how he can become weakened yeah. by the cutting
God of discernment. Uh, thank God for Brother Gerald for God for using you. Be the catalyst to bring this preacher. Give God a hand for the preacher. Come on. Thank God for the preacher. Thank God for the preacher. Thank God for the preacher. Amen. You know.
God bless him in his going and his coming. Bless his daughter in her matriculation, God. God, we pray right now for the Antioch Institutional Church, even in his absence, God. God, we thank you for the legacy of his father, God. We thank you for one of his fathers in the ministry. He can heal, God, for all depositing into this God man because he's a sum total of all who he has come in contact with. God, give him safe passage, God, that he goes back to California. Let him find family and friends still doing well and all of his possessions still intact. And then I bring him back to Vernon again to be your will. And we ever so careful to give you praise, honor, and glory. Thank God for the gifts that have been sold today. May it be used for the purpose of kingdom building in Jesus' name. And the people of God shouted amen. Amen. amen and amen. 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 Dr. Carson is going to come and give us our benediction before he does so as we stand. What do we believe?
do what? My prophet. Be careful what you say about your pastor.
members of this church had. Whether it be finance, whether it be employment, whatever it is, it's all been done. Oh, yes. Can you help me say, I believe it? I believe it. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. It's already done. Thank you now. And as we prepare to leave this place, yes. but never from your presence, from the all-wise and almighty God, yes. when you go with us, down henceforth and forever, we pray. Amen. And that the church say, Amen. 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 Will you hug somebody tightly and tell them you love them and there's nothing they can do about it?